just talk about the way this game started out. I think it's a shame that it's a game as well. I think in the game, we can get more experience. I think we started off great. We started off really fast. You know, um, we, we knew going into the game what we wanted to do as far as our game plan and running the ball was definitely um, one of the biggest things we wanted to do in the O-line. Um, did an amazing job, you know, really throughout the entire game, really helping me out, opening up holes, you know, and doing what we had to do. So I feel like we started the game really, really fast. And, you know, we just got to continue going that throughout the game. Just hoping for the best, man. You know, those two guys, you know, I, I feel for them, you know. And, you know, I, I was just, you know, praying and, you know, asking God that, you know, whatever it is that, you know, it wasn't anything serious, you know. And um, like I said, those guys are just amazing guys of who gave their all to our team, you know. And, you know, I know even though they may be out, you know, for however long they're in, they're still going to be a part of the team. They're still going to be a part of us. And, you know, they, they even showed that on the sideline. You know, they kept us high. They kept us energized, kept us encouraged, you know, in the midst of the adversity that we faced. So I, I just love those guys, man. And I'm just uh, – it hurts, you know, knowing that those guys came down because I know what they've been through. I know what we've all been through. You know, just to see those guys work so hard, and, um, you know, so they take it away from them. You know, it hurts, you know, so. How would you assess your performance today? Um. <clears throat> You know, I, I did what I had to do to um, help the team. You know, um, like I said, I, I can't give any credit to myself but online. And the coach just did an amazing job, you know, throughout the week of helping me out. Um, I give a lot of co uh, credit to Coach EJ of uh, preparing me and the rest of the running backs for what we had going on. You know, I'm still something that I clean up. You know, I, I costly fumbled, you know, in the second quarter, you know, which, you know, changed the momentum of the game, you know, and, you know, that just can't happen. That's one of our non-negotiables in the running back room. So I got to fix that. I got to be better. So, you know, regardless of what the stats were, you know, I just got to be better. What was the energy like Yeah, like I said, there was a shift. And I think, you know, we noticed it, you know, and going into halftime, we addressed it. You know, and I think that the way that we came out in the third quarter was amazing of how, you know, we handled that. You know, like I said, we, we got we moving the ball, defense really amazing stops, and we were just doing that, you know. And like I said, that just has to – when we hit adversity, you know, we have to make sure, you know, as a team that we continue to keep our heads up high, you know, in the midst of everything, you know. And I think that's what we did before today, you know. I'm sorry, say it again. It wasn't like you were going to get oh, no. Like I said, di different mindset, completely different mindset. You know, I give a lot of credit to Coach Moore of bringing us together as a team at halftime. And he was very vocal about that, about how we're different, you know, and that encouraged us, that motivated us. And, you know, we showed that going into the third quarter. We fought throughout the second half of the game, which I'm very proud of. We were able to grow and improve from that. Do you remember how we said that? He just, he just he took, continued to remind us, remember what we've been through, you know, from the spring to the summer to now to the fall camp, you know, the brotherhood that we were building, you know, we had to lean on each other, you know, and that was a big thing. And that's what we did. And halftime, it wasn't pointing fingers. It wasn't guys yelling, guys losing their cool. You know, it was guys leaning on each other, guys motivating each other. We came out and we fought, you know, and that's a big thing we fought, you know, and I'm so blessed and proud to be a part of this team. And I'm blessed and proud that, you know, we came out and fought despite what the, uh, and was. They gave me a lot of confidence, man. Like you said, you know, we started off fast because of them. everything starts with the line. You know, they were open. They were able to make my job easier as far as me hitting the holes and everything like that. Like I said, even going back on the sidelines, they communicating with the pass protection and with our runs. You know, they, they really helped me out. So, you know, like I said, when when those, when you guys see me doing good, it's, it's not me. It's really all my offensive line, and I give full credit to um, those guys on the line. Yeah, yeah, I think he handled it well. Man, like I said, you know, it's unexpected. You know, like like I said, things like that happen. You know, and for him to come in as a true freshman and just to, you know, lead our team the way that he did, it was amazing. And it's, it's good to see, you know. And um, like I said, we got to continue to improve on that. But I, I feel like like he's he's a winner. You know, just like Coach Moore would say, he has a winner mentality, you know. And uh, he, he was up and he was ready, you know, whenever his number was called. And I think he did an amazing job out there leading our offense when take on went down. He's going to be a great player, man. I'm excited to see him play. I'm excited to see him throughout the season continue to develop and grow. I'm excited to see our team and our offense and our defense, special teams, come continue to develop and grow going into the next game. You know, this hurts, this stings. You know, um, we're going to grow from it. We're going to come back next week um, ready to uh, win. And that's it.
He said, we, we take it one game at a time, man. You know, we, we go back, we watch the film from this, we learn from it, you know, we, we lick off our, you know, our licks and what whatnot, and then we go back to working, you know, and that's our mindset. You know, if you have a rule, it's 24 hours, but that 24 hours to feel the effects of the emotions, all that. Most of 24 hours of knowing that we're going to the next game. So that's our mindset, and that's how we're going to do what we got to do to prepare for that game. Uh, I was uh, excited. Uh, waited a while for the opportunity and finally came, so I was ready. Um, you know, I mean, I couldn't have done it without like the O line block in my snapper and my holder. So a shout out to them. And uh, you know, we were down. It was a, to make it a four point game. I I go out there every time, and I just want to make every kick. So my mindset was on making the kick, and I knew I was gonna make it. So I went out there and I made it. So. Yeah, you know, the goal always is to come out here and not give the opponent a chance to return the ball. So uh, pregame, I was really feeling feeling good. So then uh, came game, come game time, I was ready and, you know, touchbacks every time. Uh, you know, it's a whole different team this year. I really think that you know, this, it was really um, unfortunate that we lost today. We fought all the way until the fourth quarter. Um, but I think there's a lot of upside and a lot of positive things that you can take from today's game. And I feel like in the locker room, there's a lot of com camaraderie. And I think that'll carry us throughout the season. You know, just like we got to fight adversity. We can't just... Um, can't just go down and then just lay down. You have to keep fighting back, get yourself back in the game. Uh, today, um, I felt pretty comfortable from 60. Um, there was a little wind too, so you know that helps a lot. Um, normally anywhere from 55 to 60 is what I feel comfortable at and I hope to stay comfortable at during most games. Obviously wind and weather has an effect to that, but today was a nice, nice day for kicking. Um, elevation just kind of like add maybe height to your ball and then obviously like a few yards, but it's not that it's not the most insane addition to a kick. Um, I just think that we have to have a good week of practice. Um, like Coach said, we have 24 hours to think about this loss and let it soak in. And after that, we move on to the next opponent and then just focus on them, do our best to prepare for them, and go out there and execute. Mm -hmm.